right, what's up guys? So in the shop, we have a couple of 90s legends. The first up, we have a 1997 993 Turbo S. Now, Chris is working on this. He's doing Bilstein coilovers, full suspension overhaul. We're also gonna be doing some HRE competition series wheels. So what makes this car so special is that one of the last years of the 993, you can pan over here, has a little scoop, and that became notorious for all 911 turbos in the future. The earlier models of the 993 didn't have that, so there's a very, very special version. Got it stick shift the way that the car gods intended it to be. And so, love this color. Now, the second 90s legend that we have is the Jaguar XJ220. Now, you guys know this from the video that was just posted last week. Me and Franco getting pulled over in this thing, almost getting arrested. So, I learned my lesson. Leave it on the lift, don't drive it. Let me show you uh, what Eddie's gonna be setting up with for the wheels and tires on this thing. So I've never seen an HRE box this large before. That could only mean one thing, the rear wheel of the Jaguar XJ220. We ordered it in a 19 by 14. I can't remember the last car that we ever built wheels for that had a 14 inch wide rear. Uh, Aventadors have 13s, 488 Pizzas have 13s, but nothing with a 14 before. So Eddie prepared me with this, otherwise, I don't play with sharp objects. Clearly, you can see how, uh, how awful I am at this. I think I got it. I got Eddie behind the camera over here watching me in case, I, uh, in case of an emergency, if I cut my finger off. All right, what do you think, Eddie? How's my form? Hey, put your back into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's see what we got here. Ooh. HRE with a wheel cover. That's, that's what you get with HRE, man. They don't, they don't skip any corners. Everything from the packaging is just top notch. And so here we are. We got the HRE 935 from their vintage series. So Ben and I had a bet as to who would sell this model first to a customer. He cheated because it's his car, so he just ordered it. But um, but I would love to sell this wheel one day. This goes amazing on like the 90s legends, like the Porsches, the Jaguar. Check out this really, really large lip. It's got this blue film over that helps Eddie with the mounting and the balancing of the wheels and tires. Again, 19 by 14 center lock. This is a polished, frozen, dark, clear finish for the center face. So, comes out of machining, it's polished sprayed with the dark tint and then the final stage is that satin clear coat so it gives you a really dynamic little finish to it and it's any angle you look at it depending on the lighting it's always gonna reflect differently polished clear lips so looking forward to seeing this uh, on the car we've got a co-director eddie who's telling me to pull it out so they can see the 14 inch wide i didn't want to do it because i'm not strong enough but here we are so this is a five inch lip for the rear. It, <laughs> that's a lot of lip, man. Yeah. Look at that. Back pad, everything you want. It's gonna look mighty, mighty fine on that Jag. the two HRE sets for the 90s legends right here. Huge tire, 355 Pirelli. What came from factory was a 335. So I hope this fits. We haven't even tried it yet, but it should, it should. Uh, ben knows this is his fitments. Then on this side, we have the HRE C100. This is from the competition series that HRE has. So you could have the hardware 
chosen with uh, titanium hardware, which would save about a pound per each wheel. Classic mesh design, you get the lip, satin black for both the center face, the outer lip, and even the inner barrel. So weight saving techniques right here with cutting of the back pad. I can't wait to see this 983 Turbo on the C100s. I can't wait to see that Jaguar with the HRE 935s. Um, I think that they should have a, a dual photo shoot together. So leave in the comments which one you prefer with the sets of HREs. John? Oh, wow. Oh, this is cool. All right. I did not know this was here. A Chevy pickup truck with Anarchy AN34s. Look at the lips on this thing. Oh, I didn't even notice the P0 Trofeo Rs. Oh, that's racing right there. Willwood brakes. I don't know who's that was probably one of my uh, one of my colleagues probably Jonathan sold that brush dark clear finish polished lips that's a pretty deep dish I like that a lot I gotta ask Jonathan what uh what width that is front and rear and the fact that he has Trofeo R's front and rear is hilarious wow this is clean I'm a I'm a Ford guy myself but I think I think I want one of these now The real reason we're out here. Carlos, say hi. <laughs> the, the secret assassin, we call him. The real reason I'm out here is the Jaguar XJ220 finally has its HREs on. The HRE 935s. Franco, get a look at that, at that lip size back there. That's the way it should be. 80 supercars, 90 supercars. They deserve a big fat lip. I like that. Wow. And the center locking nut from Jaguar is so big compared to what I've seen from Porsches and Lamborghinis. Man, I'm, I'm amazed. That's, that's a crazy setup. I love it. So just to recap, HRE wheels since 1978, the industry standard for, for custom forged wheels. These things are made from 6061 T6 aerospace grade aluminum. Sounds really fancy, but it's basically the aluminum you want to use for the highest strength to weight ratio, um, which keeps with the supercar's objective here. And I actually love this old school style. It reminds me of the uh, Porsches from the 70s and 80s. It goes really, really well, surprisingly well for the Jaguar. Man, I'm, I'm impressed. I want to see it from the other side too. In the shadows, the finish, it almost looks a different color and that's because of the polishing with the satin clear coat on top. I mean, I think, I think Ben knocked it out with this one. All right, so that wraps up another video. We got some cool cars here, this old school Chevy, the Jaguar XJ220, of course. Um, I absolutely love this car. I spoke with Ben a couple months back. I said, this is one of the cars that he needs to buy. One of the cars that we need to do some performance aftermarket wheels on it. And, um, and thankfully he listened because this thing is, I mean, it's not every day that you see an XJ220. And I don't think I've ever seen an XJ220 on, on something like this special with these HREs. So 
drop us a comment in the se comment section. I want to see if you guys have any photos or any links to other Jaguar XJ220s on HREs or maybe uh, some other premium aftermarket wheels like BBSs. I would personally love to see that. Um, again, man, I'm, I'm left speechless on this. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Do all the things you got to do. You already know. Subscribe, like, comment, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.